Welcome to the channel guys. Today I'm going to be talking about Prada, Luna Rosa Carbon, and Sauvage EDP. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below so I can grow my channel and keep bringing you guys fragrance comparisons, reviews, first impressions, and top lists. Prada Luna Rosa Carbon is a flanker of the Luna Rosa line and was released in 2017. I'm actually going to be talking about this alongside Sauvage EDP because it's compared to Sauvage a lot. And having smelled EDT and the EDP, I think that it smells most similar to the EDP. So of course, I'm going to do a breakdown and comparison of what I find to be the same and what I find to be different, and ultimately which one is, I guess, more favorable. So I do detect some differences in the opening. So for Prada Luna Rosa Carbon, it's quite sweet. The bergamot is quite strong, but it is a sweet bergamot because of that ambroxan note, and I do get a little bit of metallicness. The bergamot also comes off a little bit zesty. Not too much because it is predominantly very sweet, but there is a little bit of zest in there. And of course, there's a very, very prominent lavender note as well. But all of this is actually a very enjoyable, very nice opening. That does open a little bit differently than Sauvage EDP. Now, of course, it has very similar note breakdown, but I find that in this one, the bergamot is a little bit more pronounced and it is a little bit zestier. So this isn't as sweet in the opening as I find um, Prada Luna Rosa Carbon to be. Um, and also, it, do it doesn't have quite as strong a lavender note. The lavender is still very prominent in it, and it does make a very nice and enjoyable opening, but it doesn't have quite as strong of a presence to my nose. Of course, the difference between these two doesn't last that long. I actually find that within about 20 minutes, they're virtually the same fragrance. Now, they're not identical and they aren't throughout the life identical, but I do find that they're very, very similar at a lot of different stages where you certainly would have a hard time telling the difference between the two. Now in the dry down, there are definitely differences. With Sauvage EDP, I actually get a little bit of a powderiness quite a bit of sweetness and it's very, very uh, prominent and strong. The bergamot dies down quite a bit and it's more lavender heavy and broxen lavender kind of a balm at that point. I find with carbon that it has a lot more bergamot for a lot longer and it does have a nice little bit of zestiness in the dry down that um, Sauvage doesn't have. And I also find that it doesn't have any of the powderiness, which I don't find the powderiness to be unpleasant, but it doesn't really do anything to enhance the overall fragrance, in my opinion. It's just something that's kind of there. Now, in both regards, I don't actually get a lot of the pepper, and especially if you smelled Sauvage EDT, there's a lot of sort of zing from that pepper note, especially right in the opening. With both of these fragrances, I don't find that I get any of that at all. So there isn't really that peppery zing, which is one of the things I actually really enjoy about EDT. So both of these are much more smoother and more rounded and more, I suppose you could say, mature than the EDT. With Carbon, I also find that there's a little bit more of this lingering freshness that you find in the opening that also stays around in the dry down a little bit more, as opposed to the dry down of Sauvage, which is quite pronounced lavender and ambroxan. It's also quite a bit sweeter than uh, Luna Rosa Carbon as well. Ultimately, this can be a good thing because I find Sauvage EDP and also EDT something that's really easy to overspray. They're both really nuclear and this can be good and it can be bad. It's one of those ones where it's fine, but it's very easy to overspray. With the EDP, personally, I think you don't really need more than two or three sprays because after that, it becomes really, really cloying. Unless, of course, maybe you're in like a club or you're going to be outside then you might want to spray a little bit more and you can afford to, but especially if you're indoors, if you're inside, you don't want to spray that much. With Luna Rosa Carbon, there is much less of a chance to do that because it is a lot more subdued. It's in many ways a little bit more mature and rounded. If you think of Sauvage EDT as being more rough and the EDP as being more rounded, then Luna Rosa Carbon takes it one step further and becomes even more rounded. Now, with that, it does lose a little bit of that performance in the respect that it's not beast mode for me. I found it to be a lot more quiet, and actually, when I did compare these two side by side, 
the smell of Sauvage EDP almost completely obliterated any smell of Prada Lunarosa Carbon at all. So it is much more subdued and much more quiet. And that can be really, really good. If you're going to be indoors, if you're going to be in close, then Lunarosa Carbon really is probably a better choice to go with. It's going to be nice, sweet, have all of that Sauvage DNA without becoming too cloying and too much. And really for something like The Office, I think Carbon is a better choice because you don't really want something that's filling entire rooms with how much you smell. Even if Sauvage is a nice fragrance, it can easily become too much. And so it kind of has a little bit of refinement in that respect. It also has a slight freshness in the dry down that I find Sauvage doesn't have, which does give it a slightly better actual scent profile. So there are certainly times where these do smell very similar and there are times where they smell somewhat different and where this one does smell slightly better in the sense that it's more refined, more well put together and more blended. And I do find the absence of that powderiness certainly doesn't hurt the fragrance at all. Now, when it comes to longevity, they both last about the same. I get about eight hours with both of these. But again, the performance, the uh, projection, the sillage is where Sauvage overwhelms Lunar Rosa Carbon by a lot. This thing is absolutely nuclear. Getting crazy sillage off this thing for at least a couple hours and projection, like you can definitely fill a fairly decent sized room with this without trying too hard. Now Lunar Rosa Carbon, I suppose, perhaps as a function of being a little more mature, is not so loud. You're not going to be announcing yourself the same way. People will have to get a little bit closer to you to smell it. Now it's not a slouch, it's not like it's a skin scent by any means, but this is nowhere near as potent as Sauvage. This means you can also spray a little bit more without having to worry about it. Ultimately, if I'm going to have to pick one, I'm actually going to go with the EDT, and the reason is I really like that pepper. I like how much kick it has in the opening. It's really invigorating, and I remember the first time I actually smelled it, it was just so invigorating, so beautiful that I just was drawn into it. Now, neither one of these fragrances have it, and um, that's a little bit too bad, I guess, but it still has the Sauvage DNA. It still has that nice ambroxan sweetness, lavender and bergamot that works really, really well. And both of these things are definitely going to be things that garner you compliments. And depending on the situation, carbon might be better because you're not going to overwhelm anyone. I've also found that Sauvage can be something that gives people a bit of a headache because it's so overwhelming at times. And that's where the extra roundness, the extra smoothness of carbon really comes in. So I mean, between the two, carbon is probably better with respect to how it overall does for other people. But for personal taste, I like the EDP more because it's more uh, punchy and more wild with that pepper that's really dialed up that the other two have sort of lost. Anyways, guys, that's it for this comparison. Which one do you guys like the most? Leave a comment down below and let me know. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.